Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. There's another paid request, this time from Mark. It's another Equestia Girls review. This one for Rainbow Rocks from 2014. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reactions, re-reviews, reviews, commentaries, whatever it may be, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And... Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks. What can I say about this film that I haven't said before? Well, again, like like I say, this type of stuff just isn't my cup of tea. It's just not. It's just not the type of stuff I'm into. It's not the type of stuff I am drawn towards. If you're into My Little Pony, I'm glad. Teach their own. Just not my cup of tea. And that I've even said, like, even if you're into My Little Pony, and then the whole, like, okay, well, these are human versions. It's like, again, wh like, why, if I'm watching Ninja Turtles, why would I want to watch a human version of the Ninja Turtles? And not that it's part of a dire, contemplative part of the plot, but just, oh, we're, we're the, tur we're the characters, but we're just human. Then I'm like, well, what's the point? It's kind of like, what's the point? And this is pretty much, God, how the hell do I put it? I don't, I mean, not much seems to happen in this film, it seemed. It just, these three girls who are, were banished to the human world, that's what happened, they were banished to the human world, they're going to use magic to make everyone... We want to make magic to have everyone adore us. Everyone love us. They have these jewels around their necks. They like to sing. They're sirens. They sing songs for people to love them and adore them. And they feed off of that. They haven't been able to do this too much in a while. Until what happened at the last film happened. And then they get a taste of that power again. The school is still mad at Shimmer, which makes sense because I'm like, no shit. She tried to brainwash everybody and control them and was a demon. Like, no shit, they're fucking still mad at her. The school, that is. But the, the girls themselves, they've... They're with her. They're connected with her. But other than that, I'm like, I'm not surprised that the other people are pissed off. Like the other people don't trust her because again, it's like I don't know how to describe it. I'm still try I'm trying to remember what happened in this movie. Because it's just the three seen us on a school, people are changing, the other Friends, including Shimmer, notice this. They're going to do a battle of the bands. They did Twilight to come back from Pony World to this world. And then they're kind of just fumbling around going, Okay, Twilight's going to create a spell. And the others are going to try to play as well as they can with this against this band. And Twilight's like, all I've done since I come here is let you down. I'm like, yes, it's true. Because you fucked up. And they have a band battle. They're losing. Shimmer joins in. They fight against the sirens. They break the crystals, the rubies around their necks. And they, they win. Because the crystals are broken, the three actually seem piss poorly. They break the siren spell and they're fine. And, like, I can't remember... That's the thing. Like, this type of movie doesn't have much... For me, like, memorable dialogue. Mem just memorable anything. Just memorable anything. They're just... Again, not much for me to talk about. That's why it's, like, hard to do this review. Because, like, everything I could say about the previous film... I could put into this. Other than... I would say at least this is a, even shorter... And this doesn't go through the whole reintroducing characters thing, so it 
maybe moves at a better pace for people compared to the previous one. The songs could be catchy for fans. I didn't kind of like the songs for the Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells was catchy for me. So I can understand maybe that appeal. The animation is still that kind of direct to video cheapness. And I'm kind of sitting there and I'm going, I don't know what to talk about. Like it's five minutes. I've already, what am I going to say about this? There's, there's nothing in it that makes me mad and angry. It's just, it's like having a piece of food or a piece of sugar or a piece of candy that just, this is not your cup of tea. And then you're sitting there going, well, what the hell else can I say? I don't like it. Didn't taste good to me. Okay, what else? I, 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 again, the, the three sing a song and people start getting meaner and the demeanor starts changing. Uh, there's a running joke where they keep reminding Shimmer that she was a bad guy in the previous film. And she's like, yeah, I know. Yes, I know. And they're doing that because she's ostracized. Like, she's with the group, but then she's not part of the band. Until at the end, they're like, we need you, Shimmer. And then she kind of redemptive arc scenes and able to defeat the bad guys. Through friendship and magic. There's a running joke of the, the ex-boyfriend of Shimmer keeps bumping into Twilight and they have a little bit of a crush on each other. Which that was in the previous film and that's carried a little bit more into this. Well, not too much more, honestly. This definitely fell ahead, obviously because it's a rock band. There's more songs in this one. And kind of find out when they play their songs. Uh, when they play their songs, they can actually create little magical, maybe wings or something else, some glow when they're playing music. Like each time they play in their band, they get this magical glow about them. But only when they play the music. At least in this one. And the next one... It comes out in different pieces. But, I mean, the voices are the same. To me, they're just... I did not my cup of tea that you Chipper, hi, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? Like I said, just... You're, you're watching something... I would say technically made... For seven to ten year old, I would think. Which is funny because the girl, the teenager skirts are really fucking high. And like, you I mean they're really fucking short, to the point that you gotta shave when you go outside, and I don't mean your legs. You gotta shave before you go outside, and I don't mean your legs. That's how short they are, and it's just like, how old are these kids supposed to be? A bit weird to me, a bit strange. You know, it's a bit strange. I, I don't know if I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what else to say. So I'm just <laughs> going to end it. I apologize to the bark, but I don't know what else to say about this movie. If you're for this, you're for it. If you're not, you're not. <laughs> Is that much of a review? Well, for me, it's, it's like an hour and, what, hour and five minutes, give or take? Not much to say about it, so. With that said, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.